her base. It's your girl, Brit Brat, going live with the Breeze Talk. And child, we're going to talk about someone who I am still a fan of, but they lost their way. So before we get into the mess about Kimberly Denise Jones, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Now, before we get into the mess, I would like to shout out our pay for sponsors, Amazon. By using the link I have in the description bar, you can get some of the most amazing deals shopping through Amazon. Shop until you drop, baby. And if you're not an Amazon Prime member, go ahead and sign up. 30 days free. Who doesn't like next day shipping and free? Also, support me by watching those ads, Couture Bays. Yes, <laughs> show the love by watching them. Support me, baby, as I support you with all this tea. Now, let's get into the mess. Let's listen to this clip. I mean, I see almost everything, obviously. <laughs> you know, I mean, we know I did the color hair. We, right. Everybody can, like, try to erase that off the back and say, oh, well, this person did it. No. When you do something and you put it together and it, no one never even knows or or if it came from where else, somewhere else, it, it's so it's it, it's a verbatim thing, you know. If I put this green to the red, and I like, you know, and someone does the same as I think, you know that it came from me, right? You know, what I'm saying if if the color blue was just sitting there, then you know the color blue has always been the color blue. I mean, mm -hmm. but if you tra start something, like if you put it together a certain way, it's yours. Right. You know? You styled it. You styled it. You did it. Mm -hmm. You did it. You styled it. Right. You did it. That's exactly right. So, you know, it's, it's cool. It's a blessing. So, the issue with Little Kim is she does not focus on the music. As a Little Kim fan, I'm not a diehard fanatic. I'm a realist, okay? The only person I'm diehard about is a few people, and it's not Kim. It's not Kimberly. She doesn't take this music thing serious. When she came out of jail, she was supposed to drop an album. She went on to say that Nicki Minaj stole her sound, stole her look, everything else. She drops nine, the most anticipated album of her career, and it don't even chart. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't sizzle. It does absolutely nothing. It's cold. You know why? Because it was dated. It was tired and it was through. Instead of her focusing and channeling her energy into the music, she wants to talk about looks. She wasn't the first to create these iconic wigs and stuff like that. My mom was rocking them wigs, okay? That's what they did up north. They rocked the wigs with the bamboo earrings and whatever else and else, okay? They was coming out with the style. Honestly, in my humble opinion, some of those looks were tacky on Little Kim. They were. It's not about who did it first. It's about who did it better. And she did not do it better. Nicki Minaj just evolved the look. It, it really it is what it is at this point. So even if Onika Tanya Mirage said, I got my whole style from you, then what? Then what, Lil' Kim? Then what? Your music is still not going to chart. The problem is you believed all these haters and when I say haters, I'm talking about the people who want to go against Nikki because she's been winning so long, but they don't understand since the beginning. She said, I want to take female hip hop where the females never took it. And that was the truth. You know, the females would do a rap album here and there. Next thing you know, they're in a movie or they're married off or they're having babies. They're doing everything but rap. Nikki said, I want to do what Jay-Z did for the males. Instead of the blueprint, here's the pink print. Little Kim, you had your time. You didn't strike while the iron was hot. You couldn't because you didn't know what to do. Cause, because creatively, a man molded you into something. Diddy always molded her into what he thought the world should see her as. Biggie always molded her as what they thought the world should see her as. Hell, they wrote 90% of your tracks. That's why you're lost creatively. That's why you don't know what to do musically because you never had a passion for this. You just didn't want to give up your title to this woman named Foxy Brown. And that's the truth. And that's my humble opinion. But those are my thoughts. Those are my opinions. Comment down below and I got to go. Bye. She's about to do what she's about to do. And she's about to show what the girls should have did.